Not feeling in the mood to hit the sheets? Is it causing you distress? It may be an underlying health condition. Your sex life is important to your overall health, but a new national survey reveals that about half of women are having lower sex drive than in the past, and they're just dealing with it, despite the resulting strain on their relationships and impact on well-being. Dr. Leah Milheiser, Clinical Assistant Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Stanford University, is here today to educate women on this undiscussed health condition and to help them to reignite their spark. Welcome, Dr. Milheiser. Thank you for having me. Well, how important is a healthy sex life for women? You know, it's incredibly important. If you speak to any of the women who come into my office, and I, you know, my practice is sexual medicine, they'll tell me, you know, it's not just about relationship intimacy and quality and having sex with my partner. Sexual function, when it doesn't work well, really impacts a woman negatively when it comes to her self-esteem, her body image, the way she interacts with her peers at work, the relationship she has with her family, um, it elevates her stress levels. So we really think of sexual functioning as a component of quality of life, and women want to have a healthy quality of life. So it's very important. It sounds like it's much more far-reaching than just the bedroom. Yeah, it is. I mean, it really, um, we know from a research study from a couple years ago that it does have these sort of far-reaching tentacles that um, when a woman's, for example, sex drive isn't where she wants it to be, then, you know, it can have sort of a devastating impact on her self-esteem. And so I think it's important to sort of focus on what's normal and what's not normal. So it's very normal for a woman, and let's just stick with the low sex drive as our model here, for a woman's desire to wax and wane throughout her life, right? So when she's breastfeeding or she's going through menopause or she's taking medications like the pill or an antidepressant, that can lower her sex drive. Um, you know, we know that relationships over time, they lose their novelty. So having sex for some women isn't as exciting as it used to be. Women want to be able to reclaim their sexuality. And that's why it's really important to talk about this issue. Now, when a woman's problem, so most women, if you take them out of their home life where there's stressors and there's fatigue and there's kids and there's work, and you put them on vacation with their partner, that sex drive tends to boost. It gets better. They're, they're enjoying sex more. Take a woman who has chronic low sex drive, meaning it's chronically absent. A vacation, a date, jewelry doesn't make a difference. It lasts for a long time. So let's say it's been going on for six months or more, and it's really bothersome to her. Then we're talking about something different. This isn't just your normal waxing and waning. So could this be a sign of a medical, medical condition then? It can be. So it can be a sign of female sexual dysfunction. You know, this is a group, so FSD, as we call it, is, a, is an umbrella term for a group of sexual disorders, of which the two most common are hypoactive sexual desire disorder and arousal disorder. Um, we know that when a woman experiences these chronic concerns, meaning mm, vacation's not helping this, you know, it's really affecting my... My, um, my, my life, I'm distressed, I'm bothered by it. It's so important for a woman to speak with her healthcare provider to get the information she needs to treat, to diagnose and treat the disorder. So there are things if a woman goes to a doctor that they can use to diagnose and then also treat this disorder? Yeah, so I would say that there's a couple things that women can do. I like to leave you with a, a couple of action items. I think the first one is women need to get educated um, about how common this problem is. We know that it, sexual concerns affect 44% of women in this country, um, of which a large number of those women have sexual dysfunction. So there's a great website they can start with. It's called findmyspark.com. It, um, it was created by the American Sexual Health Association and uh, supported by Valiant. And what they did is they worked with a number of experts in the field, like myself, to really um, provide education on what is female sexual dysfunction. How do you speak to your doctor about it? What are some of the signs of it? So women should walk away from this website and from this, this interview with the information that FSD is quite common. 
It's something that your doctor wants to know about, so empower yourself to ask the questions, to bring up the topic, and know that there are solutions available. But sparking the conversation, talking about it, is the most important thing a woman could walk away from today. It sounds like this is a very valuable tool that is going to give women the term, terminology and the words to use when they go into their doctor's office to have that conversation. That could be a big hard step for many women. It's a really hard step. You know, women think that they're suffering alone. They think they're going to embarrass their doctor if they bring up the topic. I'm going to tell you right now, it takes a lot to embarrass a healthcare provider. We've heard it all. We want to know about your sexual function because your sexual function is it contributes to your overall health. So please, I ask everyone next time you see your healthcare provider, bring up any sexual concerns you might have and go to findmyspark.com to get some tips about how to initiate that conversation. It sounds like a wonderful source of information. Findmyspark.com um, and giving women the power to have this conversation. So, Dr. Leah Milheiser, thank you so much for this information. It does sound like this is something that affects many women, and it extends problems, you know, distress into other parts of their life, not just the bedroom. Exactly. Thank you for having me. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>